to get started. What's the one thing about the playoffs that you mo look most forward to? Just a competition level. It's at an all-time high. Um, you know, kind of by any means necessary. You got to go out there and get a win. So it's just something to play for. Um, basketball. True basketball. Does that hunger to get it started grow even more so as you get closer and closer and closer to it? Uh, I mean, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, I'm just, I'm just ready to get started. Man. It's, you know, it's been a long time. Um, just trying to get back to this point. Uh, it's been a year in, in my career where uh, you know, I've just learned a lot about my body over the last year, getting two knee surgeries and no surgery all in the last year, and really setting goals for myself. And um, you know, I just have a genuine love for the game. I just wanted to be back to this point, playing at the highest level. Um, you know, stats go out the window. Everything else in terms of what has happened, transpired throughout the regular season, goes out the window. It's just like everything is just about true essence of basketball. Nothing else about the drama or extracurricular stuff. And we decided to be to focus on the game and just actually talk about basketball instead of sensationalism. So, you know, just happy about that. You talk about how long it's been. How much have you missed this time of the year? Obviously, you had to watch it last year. How much have you missed the playoffs? I missed it a lot. Um, you know, obviously, as I said, it's just the highest level of basketball. I've been training and been a professional since I, I would say I was 16 years old. I uh, just really dedicated myself to the game, sacrificed a lot of my time with my family and friends to be able to have a chance to get a shot at the, you know, the gold trophy. And it takes seven game series and good teams and good players. And, you know, to see the players that have done it before me um, and just really just idolizing how successful they've been under underneath those bright lights is just something that you admire and uh, you want to be a part of. I mean, I've always hated like the whole title-driven, you know, idea of like separating the most talented guys on the team and just calling them the big three, and they're they're all relied on and they're all dependent on. And it's just, you know, that recipe has never worked for us in terms of just being realistic, which is how great we are as a team made up of collective individuals. We all, you know, really bring something special to the table out there. Um, and moment in the game, it could change. And, you know, we all have that impact uh, in our DNA. So, you know, I always think about just collectively just being on the right page uh, of us going in the playoffs and just being successful with the minutes that we all get. Um, it's just about the impact. It's not so much about putting points on the board, how many steals, how many stats, anything like that. It's about playing basketball, man. Just having fun, being like your teammate. That impact that you're talking about, Kyrie, it seems like a number of guys are doing more and more of that as we get closer to the playoffs. Speak to what that means to this team, what multiple guys are making. Impacts. Well, I mean, I think that I've had a unique perspective to learn the game from, you know, some great teachers. So, you know, growing up, it was like it was always going to be a specific role that you had to play, that you had to fulfill. And as I've learned in the professional ranks, uh, you know, all that kind of goes out the window in terms of, you know, when you're on a team and you're in a team environment and the impact you can make just by doing the little things. Um, you know, it changed drastically. I thought it was just about points, assists, and rebounds. And there's always an impact that you can have on the game from you know, physical or doing something to get yourself up for the game. You know, the game is, can fluctuate so heavily. And um, if you lose focus one moment, it can lead to go from two to six or Six to ten, or a fourteen-point lead, go from fourteen to two, all in the span of a two-minute, um, you know, two-minute uh, interim. So I'm just excited just to experience the fluctuation again, the emotional ties, and, and go out there and play well. Harry, I know you guys are looking forward, but where does the season rank for you as far as challenging, emotionally exhausting? When you take a look back at those eighty two? Uh, a lot of bullshit. A lot of just uh, the up and downs that this could have been handled better. Um, from a professional standpoint, uh, personal, and I'm talking about me personally, I'm not talking about our team. Um, you know, and it's just, uh, I had a lot of questions, a lot of just um, things that weren't being answered straight up about what it takes to be a great professional in this league, and I think that the frame of, of that is just outdated. 
um, you know, in terms of what you have to be every single day. It's not that hard, you know what I mean? Like the media and all the stuff that comes with it. I think that it's an exciting part of that that you got to be aware of. But the real part is just, you know, literally what I used to wake up every single morning to do. Um, you know, is to put a ball in the hoop and be really great at it. When you say so, final question, folks? When you say questions and that weren't being answered, do you mean of yourself? Uh, I would say just goals that I had, questions of, you know, what I was capable of doing. And I've always had the answers, and I just looked in the wrong places. And um, you know, I think that that, for my career, has been the biggest mistake since I came into this is trying to get validation for stats or other things that really don't have any validation in my life. And uh, allowing all this to bother me, you know, like, all you guys and all the questions and everything that comes with it is just so irrelevant to what I do on the court and how hard I work every single day. Um, so that's been the biggest lesson I've learned is the way I want to treat my career going forward rather than thinking about the last eight years of what I've struggled with or you know thought I was struggling with. Um, you know, I'm fighting from a deeper place of a lot of my ancestors, a lot of my descendants that have come before me. And none of this stuff from the cameras to the system really matters. You know, we all belong to that system, and you guys ask the questions for the system as well. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.